More and more homes stuck on the market, inching towards a foreclosure crisis. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. A hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, this is getting very serious. Are you seeing what's unfolding right now in front of us? This is insane. A global housing bubble is having blowback. Shocker. Spoiler alert. Are you kidding me? I thought this could go forever. I thought you couldn't lose in real estate poor 10 million people here in the u.s that bought in the height of a super bubble during a crisis going above and beyond appraised values are now watching their properties go down in value why you ask i'm about to tell you Whew, insanity this stuff we continue to talk about because their neighbors are going through price reductions this thing is trending the other way we hit the top of a super bubble when you have overnight appreciation Never seen before highs, reverse course, that is in fact a downturn, my friends. We're at the front end of a real estate downturn. So these poor people that piled in with FOMO are now watching their equity evaporate. They'll no longer own their homes. Their homes will own them. One of the things we continue to talk about here is as we started ringing the bell, sounding the alarm, raising awareness, heat mapping, and temperature checking the U.S. housing market. For our lovely viewers, thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time to get forward thinking, critical thinking. Centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We used to hear it all the time. But Scott, this time is different. The last bubble was due to loose lending. You're right. This time is different. It's worse. My goodness, can't you see what's happened? This was a super bubble, a global bubble, an artificially manufactured housing market, and everything hinges on the U.S. housing market. If we lose the U.S. housing market, we lose everything. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Booms and busts in the markets. We've always had them. So why should this time be different? It's the perfect storm and it's delivering its blowback. Congratulations to anybody that joined this channel and got forward thinking and critical thinking. It's been my honor and my privilege to continue to raise awareness, hopefully in a way that's slightly educational, entertaining, and informative. That is my goal. That is, it. anybody can tell you what happened, what's gonna happen? That's the million dollar question, friends. And the realities are, Every time we've had a real estate bubble, we've had a foreclosure wave. So it now becomes how big, how severe, what's the percentage of likelihood? How big will this one be, Scott? Whew, I wish I could tell you, friends, but I have, I have pretty, got a pretty good educated guess. It's not going to be a day at the beach, a walk in the park, rainbows and sunshine. It's going to be significant. And we're just at the front end. But because of this, my friends... Our digital diet today, if it's not happening in real, real, real time, we don't believe it. This is the reality, friends. This one, just as fast as this bubble is produced, what's it doing? Reversing course. It's going the other way even faster. It took two years, approximately, to build this artificially created super bubble in less than six months. It's reverse course in a massive way. We've talked about this. We're already seeing homes going through price reductions up to 50% from their all-time euphoric appraised values. We're almost at pre-pandemic levels as inventory floods in and recession looms. And what comes along with a recession? You guessed it, layoffs. And we're already getting reports of layoffs. Amazon, FedEx, all the heavy hitters. It's on borrowed time. My goodness, this was insane. I always ask myself, was this whole thing was this whole artificially stimulated economy doubling the amount of money in circulation on purpose or on accident? Wouldn't they know that if you... Over and the one thing for me, personally, when you overstimulated the biggest asset class in the world, the U.S. housing market, and then kicked the can down the road, you let it go too long. They should have put a break, the brakes on that one 
immediately and we probably could have avoided a lot of the pain that we're now going to find ourselves in there's no more bailouts available we threw everything in the kitchen sink overstimulated it created an entitled society thinking that their needs were going to be met they could go work remotely not have to work at all you need free money that is the challenge we're having with this whole in fact economy that we're sitting on right now so we're seeing the blowback unfold as properties are now stuck on the market going through price reductions so for whatever reason like i've always said for me personally if i'm going to market and i have a number of mine and i just checked its value range and i came on the market at that number which is not smart by the way you got to come on at the lower end of that property's value range because pri proper prices are trending down not up so if you come on and around the middle or upper end by the time you get to market you're done you got to find out who your competition is make sure you beat them get every eyeball in town over to the property people aren't doing that they're getting mismanaged by realtors or they're just euphoric setting their own price not letting a realtor do it for them after they've done a comparable market analysis to see what who their competition is and where they should price at so the reality is our friends is we're seeing people now stuck on the market why not pull your listing scott just pull my list and get me off the market if i can't get my price i don't want to be on the market that tells me friends if you're on the market and you're showing price reductions you have to get off the market otherwise why would you not pull your listing that's the challenge with this one for me personally as a real estate guy in final thoughts i come to you as a friend as a content creator somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate win in life understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble in the world is going to produce foreclosures and now becomes at what level i believe we're going to see a significant level of foreclosures because the amount of properties i'm currently seeing going through price reductions why not pull your listing if you can't get the number you want because people now have to sell i'm seeing more and more commercials played on media on social media television you name it offering credit solutions are you in trouble get out of debt now services these things are it's coming people the free money effect has worn off reality is set in this was the biggest rug pull ever produced in history it's got my full attention. I'm pretty sure it has yours too. So congratulations to anybody who continues to stick with this channel. We talk about some pretty hard things here, but the realities are if and when this thing plays out, having talked about it in a way that made a little bit of sense will make it much less blindsiding, much less paralyzed by fear because you can now you'll be able to operate more efficiently within it because we stayed centered and surrounded with like-minded people where iron sharpens iron our job is to be able to go come out of this thing smelling like a rose but if we drink the kool-aid the asset real estate investment kool-aid like we saw wall street investors con we saw more people drink the kool-aid very exposed we're going to see a foreclosure crisis potentially a bankruptcy crisis collapse of big companies this thing's going to have some massive massive blowback it's only natural unorganic growth artificial stimulation can sustain itself it was had no good foundation that it was ever built on so congratulations i'll do my best to continue heat map temperature check the industry for you guys because that is what you guys all each and every one of you deserve if you appreciate the content i do want to humbly ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i would love to hear from you social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there along with links to channels i've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, there's an email in the description for you as well. I have a network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It would be our absolute honor and our privilege to do so. If you're watching from your television set today and enjoy this video, I know you're gonna enjoy the next video on your screen at this time. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as well as a super thanks button if you've gotten any value out of this or any other videos. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.